Hello there and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about or solving a problem, a genetics problem actually. This one's uh, regarding color vision. Now normal color vision, C, or notice it's a large C, capital C, is dominant to color blindness, little c, at an X-linked locus. Now the question is, can a daughter with normal vision have a colorblind father first off? So to answer this problem, let's, let's try to figure out what the daughter uh, genotype needs to be in order to actually have normal vision. So first off, we know that females have uh, 2X chromosomes. And we know that we're going to be using X chromosomes to solve this problem because it mentions it's, an X, it's at an X-linked locus. And notice that color blindness is recessive. The normal vision, the large C, is dominant over the, the color blindness, the small C. Therefore, in order for the daughter to have normal vision, she at least has to have one big C. So this is all we know from the daughter's genotype. We don't know what this other one over here can be. It can either be another big C or a small C. Even if it were a small C, the larger C right here, the one for normal vision, will take control. It will mask the, uh, the potential color blindness little c. Now, in order for the father to be colorblind, the father just needs one, one recessive allele, so one small c. Now, in genetics problems, one thing you want to always remember is that the one, of, at least one of the daughter's X chromosomes comes from the father. Now, if the father is colorblind, that means he must have a little c, correct? A recessive trait, the color blindness. So that means the daughter, like every single daughter, would have to have at least one recessive allele. Even if that were, were to be the case, we can say that yes, the daughter right here can have a colorblind father because if Let's say that if the colorblind father uh, transferred this little c to the daughter, the daughter will have a new genotype of this, big C and a little c. The big C for normal uh, vision is going to mask the little c, and as such, the daughter here is still going to have normal vision. So I've gone ahead and made a Punnett square for you. Now one thing I want you to notice here, notice here is that the daughter, the one, the genotype we see right there, is in this place right here, which means yes, it's po it is indeed possible. And we're assuming that the father is colorblind, which means the father has a small allele, then in order for the daughter to actually have normal vision, the mother has to have normal vision as well. And that's because she also has to have at least one dominant allele. The mother has to look like this, essentially, the same gen genotype. She can be homozygous for the dominant trait, or just heterozygous, like that, with a little c. So here I have another question. Can a daughter with normal vision have a father with normal color vision as well? Well, first off, as you recall, the daughter has to have a genotype of at least one dominant C and something else we don't know. Now, in order for the father to have normal color vision, he will also have to have a dominant C because if he had a recessive one for the X chromosome, he would be colorblind. Now, right off the bat, we can tell you that the it is indeed possible because the father is going to donate this this allele right here, the, the X chromosome with the allele for the capital C to all of the daughters. So that means this one right here could be either homozygous for the dominant allele, which would equal normal color vision, or the daughter can be with a capital C and a little c. Let's say the mother was a colorblind. Let's say the mother was colorblind with two recessive alleles. Then she would have donated this chromosome here, and the father would have donated this one. And overall, the this version of the daughter would still be normal color vision. So yes, it is possible for the father to be normal color visioned because the father uh, is going to be donating the dominant allele to all of the daughters, which is going to make them all have normal color vision as well. How about a colorblind mother? Can a daughter with normal vision, looking like this, a capital C and something else we don't know, have a colorblind mother? And in order for the mother to be colorblind, she has to have be homozygous for the recessive allele, so she has to have two little c's down here. Now because we know that the father is going to be donating one of the X chromosomes, and the mother is going to be donating one of hers as well, that means this daughter here is going to have a X chromosome that's going to be small, which means in order for her to have normal vision, the father has to donate one that would be the dominant allele, the normal color visioned uh, or allele you see right here. So the father then would have to be normal visioned in order for the mother to be colorblind and still have a normal vision daughter. What about a mother with normal color vision instead? Again, we know the daughter has a, a genotype of this, correct? And in order for the mother to have a normal color vision, she will also have to have the well, a similar genotype. 
so she has to have at least one dominant allele. We don't know what the other one would be. So we can, also, we can already say that the, it, it is indeed possible because the father can donate either a, a recessive allele or a dominant one. The father can be uh, colorblind or normal visioned. It doesn't really matter because the, uh, we know the mother is normal visioned. And that means the mother is going to be donating a dominant allele, which will make all of the daughters have also normal vision. Okay, switching it up a bit. What about two colorblind parents? What if the mother, the mother and father were both colorblind? Well, the father is going to be looking like this with a little c and a y chromosome. The mother, because she has to be colorblind, is going to be homozygous recessive, meaning she has little c's. Let's pretend that's a little c right there. So the daughter, mind you, the daughter right here with a normal vision, has to have at least one dominant allele, the big C. And she has to get this big C from either one of the parents. But the father has only a little C, and the mother can only have little Cs as well. Which means it's not possible for a normal colored vision, or sorry, a daughter with normal vision, to have two colorblind parents. Because the parents are not going to be giving the daughter any kind of dominant allele to give the daughter normal vision. The daughters are going to be all colorblind as well. Now, as a last question, can two parents with normal color vision have a colorblind son? So one thing that we do know is that the father, in order to have normal color vision, needs to have a dominant C and then something else. And the mother would also have to have at least one dominant C and then something we don't know. Sorry, that's a bit messy. But essentially what my point was, you can have a colorblind son as long as the mother is heterozygous. Because notice that a colorblind son would basically have to be like this, with a little c, a recessive allele, and the y chromosome. Now, the little c here, always the, the x chromosome for the son always comes from the mother. Which means, since the mother has to have normal vision, she has to be heterozygous. Because the mother does need a, a dominant allele, the, the big c. And because the son also, in order to be colorblind, has to have a little c, and the little c can only come from the mother, the mother needs to be heterozygous, meaning the mother needs to be a big c and then another x chromosome with a little c. Okay, so this video focused on a gene that was located on the x on an x-linked locus, which means it's on the x chromosome. It had a dominant side and a, a recessive side. In order to solve these problems, we had to analyze or deduce, I should say, the genotypes of the mother and father. And of course, I thank you for watching.